Alright guys, so welcome to my home theater tour. So here we go. This is my new TV, Sony 4K, 55 inches. Speakers are really amazing. I have a Wii bar at the top of the TV. Underneath the TV I have a couple of simple components, a Wii U that my wife uses a lot. I have a Bose speaker Bluetooth system that I can connect to. If I just want to listen to music and not turn on the TV, we can connect to this wirelessly. Or Bluetooth. I have an Apple TV so I can watch media. And then I have an upscaling 4K Blu ray player with 3D glasses. I also have the Wii Remotes and the Wii U. And this is my viewing here from my living room. So Here's a remote and it's pretty comfortable, fits well in your hand and I velcroed to the back of it the Apple TV uh, remote. So let's turn it on and let me show you guys a movie here. So this is Art of Flight. Now, as you can see, you can't see it really well through YouTube but the colors here just pop. The blues are blue, it's crisp and this is streaming through Apple TV. All right, so there you have it, guys. That's my home theater at home. However, my real theater is in the garage, so let's go. So I decided that if I wanted to have watch a movie in the living room, I have a way to do that and have a nice experience. But if I want to watch a movie in a movie quality, I go to my garage, which is in the back of the property here. As you can see, this is an old garage. It has some old siding. I did a lot of work to get this garage to be a really awesome home theater. Let's take a look. Like any of my ideas, they all start out with sketches. Here's a sketch of the garage, just rough ideas that I was having regarding the ceiling fans, the speaker placements, sound waves, where to put my system, and overall each wall, each component. Cleaning reinforcement and selling stuff. So this is when I got started with the project. The garage was bare bones. It just had siding and studs. It even had termites. So I had to treat the, gra the garage against termites and remove all the old wood that was rotten. Then I got rid of all my stuff with a huge yard sale and I started buying supplies for the theater. That's the trunk of my, gar of my car. Now then I started gathering components. So here I got the projector, the speakers, I beefed up my network so I got more time capsules to spread the signal strong into the garage. The electrical is probably the hardest part because I had to learn how to do electrical in my garage. I had no idea how to do it but I taught myself and I learned how to do it by code to make sure it was safe as well as soldering the speaker, the wires for the speakers because the lengths here were so custom that I needed to make it all tailor fit. You also have to learn about speaker placement, angles of the speakers, etc. Now insulation and drywall, this was the next step after the speakers were, the wires were done. This was probably the fastest step. Now if you can see the insulation angles up towards the ceiling here so I wanted to give it more space on top instead of having a flat ceiling. So here's a drywall moving pretty fast here. All this took about maybe a couple months to do all by myself. So here you have it guys. This is the theater now with the drywall 
and now the painting and the storage cabinet. So painting the ceiling, painting the walls, this was just bringing it home. It was easy, it was fast. And then insulating the garage door, painting the, the outlets, putting the plastic around the bottom where the, the walls meet the floor. Now the only part I did have somebody come in was do Pacific Garage did installation of my cabinets in the garage because I wanted to have a lot of storage. They cut out some of the holes in the back to let the, the equipment plug into the outlets that I had in the back wall and there you have it. Now the media that I collected over the past couple of months of doing this and the 3D glasses, the ceiling fans, the stand, this all over the past couple of months kept building up slowly. I kept trying to find deals on Craigslist. Now this cement table, I wanted to have something in the back of the garage where I have the sink right next to the washer and dryer. And so I went ahead and made this cement table, learned how to do it, put some coating, and then you'll see it in the garage when it's done. Here it is with the sink. It's all functional. Now back to the tour. So here we go. Let's go in the garage. And right as you come in the garage, let me pop the garage door open. So as you can see, it's still functional. And this room is about 20 feet by 20 feet, the actual cement slab where everything sits on. In the back, there's two feet, hi Rusty, there's two feet of cabinet coming into the room. So it might be 18 feet by 20 feet. Now here is above the, the ceiling, you can see where I took the roof line with the drywall and some ceiling fans on top and then coming down you see the paneling in the back the storage cabinets along with the soundproofing that I put now let's start at the back here here's a washer and dryer as you come in on the left and this is a sketch that I made with the electrical and that's my old dog bandit who passed away last year so on top of these cabinets I have uh, paint and I have dryer washer stuff and in this cabinet I have uh, water feed plant feed sorry and just goo gone and just stuff you might need around the house or on the garage so very functional these storage cabinets uh, here's a switch for the Lutron and so you can see the lights coming on and my other stand that I use when I'm making videos my spare camera now there's a cement table underneath the cement table I put in some blinds. I have magnets around the sink. I love magnets. They come in handy for different things. So I have a whole slew of magnets back there. Now under the sink I have my MIG welder, some cat food, my jigsaw down there. So just storage, more storage. And here is the Danby. This is my beverage center. So I have rice milk, cranberry juice, beers, iced tea, and a lot of water. I notice I work out back here and I tend to use a lot of water when I'm working out so that's what I put in the most. Now the sink, above the sink I have uh, two windows and I installed this cat window because the cats when you go in the garage inevitably they'll follow you in there and then they'll get locked in the garage so this is a way for them to get out. Now this luchador I have it, I have a mask that I bought when I went to TJ one time and the leather strap here, his tongue is part of the leather straps, a spare leather strap that I use to tie the curtains in the back together. However, this is over a vase or a vase. Now the vase, I didn't have any function for it, so I put the mask on it and realized, hey, we can make this into a tiny little trash can. And so there you go. Now above this is a projector. The projector is uh, the Sony 95ES and it's pretty big but it's out of the way it's above the sink and it hangs down all the wires go up and tuck in over the beams of the garage so it, they carry the wires all the way to the media cabinet across that big beam and then back to the corner and I'll show you that later so well, coming back to the cement table I have the my wireless network here with the Apple Tower and then some figurines here, a wine rack, some wine glasses, and then I have a ZZ plant. Now these require very, very minimal water. And there's my cat in the back sitting on my hot tub. Hey, come into the video. Come on. Anyways, so then I have ways to open the beer bottles, beer 
openers, and this edge, this side of the table, I use it for the remotes. Now there's my other Lutron switch with the remote, and then underneath the table on this side, I have some push-up stuff, some weights, some more water, and the Wii board. Now this, in here, I have a thermometer over there on top of the plant, and then another Bose speaker in case I want to do two sounds coming out of the garage, one through the surround and one through there. That's handy when you're working out. Now this is the remote that I have, this universal remote, and it's awesome. I used to have that old blocky one a lot of people have, and it just wasn't comfortable to hold. This one's very comfortable to hold, and that's the one I have. Now I have some other remotes here for the Wii and my weights, the Bowflex weights, and my shoes, my yoga mat. So it's a multi-purpose garage. You definitely get the idea here. Now there's the other back speakers there, tiny little bow speakers. They put off, push off a lot of sound. On top of this cabinet we have party supplies, plates, etc. And then we have some supplies for around the house, some caulk, some gloves for when you're doing sticky stuff around the house and then just storage of different flashcards, books, etc. A lot of storage. Now in this cabinet, this one kind of hits the foam there, but it still opens. I have all my tools that I use, and you can see the cutout there for the outlet. Now these tools are always charged, ready to go, because I'm always doing stuff around the house. And so you get the idea. This back wall here of the garage, now it's two feet deep, so taking away from those 20 feet, so 18 across, and we have a lot of storage in here. This one, we put in our snowboards, we put in some poster stuff, Christmas boxes, just a lot of stuff that we use around the house. There's my welding jacket and some more water. Now here in California, you have to keep in mind, you have to be ready for any type of earthquake, you have to have a lot of water. So here's a second couch that I have. Now this couch is not facing the screen, but if we have company over, we can move it into a V-shape to face the screen. Here's my pull-up bar, and I installed it right in the middle so that it almost follows the rail of the garage door so that it doesn't add another transecting line into the ceiling. So I wrapped it with a tennis racket wrap to give, make it comfortable to do pull-ups. Now this is my subwoofer, the Bose, and there's the grandma that it's sitting on. Now watch my other video so you can know about these components. Now this is the sensor that's facing the room, taking the signal into the cabinet where I have all my media. This way, my remote can, can function, can take care of the media, can connect to it. Now, when you open the door, you see here I have these lights. And these are sensor lights, so when you open the door, they turn on for about 15 seconds, and then they turn off. So you, can, you don't have to worry about having to turn them off. And at the very top of the cabinets, I have these two fans that are venting the heat from this cabinet. During the summer, these fans are always on because it keeps these these things get hot if you're running a movie. On the second level here, I have some 3D glasses and family pictures. And then on the next level, I have a lot of the Blu-rays and Wii games, my 3D glasses. And then this thing right here, this is a Bluetooth, the way that my phone connects to the Bose. Now, I bought this little chip here. And this way, any Bluetooth device can connect to this without having to be placed into the slot and so that makes it really convenient and these are just folders with a bunch of old DVDs and I'm not really sure what to do with them they're just sitting in here but that's where they go and yeah this is where we keep the cat no she snuck in here when I opened the door see this is what I'm talking about you have to have a way for them to get out that's Sophie and so back there you see there's a plug for my power regulator and all the speaker wires coming out of there this is a cutout that they made when they installed the cabinets. And you see the wires there for the media. And then underneath here I have just wires and then I have the Adapt IQ to, to, to equilibrate the speakers every now and then. The power regulator, the Bose component, the receiver, the PS3, and then the Wii. And at the very top my Blu-ray player that does 3D. Now that wire comes down, the one that picks up the signal from the room comes down and then it has these different little lay points that you can stick on to the different components so the, the signal will go through. There's the Apple TV and here is the Blu-ray player. 
Now these lights are really cool. I got them at Ikea and you just stick them right on top of the door and whenever the door moves it turns them on. So here you have it guys. There's my media stand, the Optimum 2000. Now this one I got off of Craigslist because these apparently you can only buy them in Europe and they're super expensive. So the guy selling it here in Los Angeles gave me a really good deal on this media stand. And there you have it. That's my media component. Now the front wall I have the the projector, the screen, and then I have the sensor for it up there. And I have the center speaker underneath the screen. Now this is the view from the screen out into the garage when everything is open. The doors are open. There's Rusty sitting on the couch. There's a projector pointing at us at the screen. Let's close it up and give you guys a spin. Now this wall, the one with the garage door, I put insulating foam. You can buy this kit that helps you insulate your garage their garage door. This way not a lot of heat is coming into the garage. And I also put sound panels on this door. And this makes this door really, really nice and soundproof as well as heat proof, cold proof. So making it essentially into a wall. And here you have some art and those things I bought on eBay. Uh, with the THX, the Sony, the different components that I have. Now this is a piece of local art and then I have my iPad here. Now with this iPad I use the iPad to watch movies. Again I don't want to burn the bulb on the projector by exercising every day and so I just play it on here since I already know most of the moves all I need is the sound and so you can hear this pretty well and I can also connect that to the surround speakers at the same time as it's playing so I can get a good good sound for working out. Now this is an iPad that's uh, on the wall. You can push it back. It's a pivoting stand and it can come off of there so you can take it around with you if you like. Now the door, I installed this pet door because again when I'm watching a movie I want these pets to be able to go in and out of the garage and I don't have to get up and let them in, let them out and that's that. Alright so let me close the door here and I'm going to keep the blinds open in the back just the way you saw them before. This way you can still get an idea of how big this projector, this screen is, the setup. Now let's go to Apple TV and let's watch a little bit of Flight. I love this movie. Here I'm approaching the screen and just so you get an idea of how big this image is about, you know, the entire screen is about 10 and a half feet across. So this is a 16 by 9 projection coming onto the screen. So you can see the black bars on the side. Now I really like having the ability to have a wide screen, as wide as possible. So when I have those, like this one, this is a preview for Spider-Man. When I'm watching movies like this, I can really blow it up and have a huge picture. Now here my projector I'm setting it to uh, picture mode so that it fills in the entire screen. Here we go. You know, if you're gonna steal cars, don't dress like a car thief. You a cop? You seriously think I'm a cop? In a skin tight red and blue suit. Who are you? I know it's been rough for you, Peter. <laughs> I forgot all about that thing. It was your dad's. Your father was in here. Now let's return this back to 16 by 9. And let's see what else we can find here. Let's watch, um, let's see. Well, actually, let me show you guys the view of the room. Now, as you can see, I still had the blinds open in the back. And the pet door lets in some light, so it's fine. So now I'm sitting on the couch with the camera, just showing you guys a clip of this movie.
Now, let me pause it here, and let me go close the blinds in the back so you can see how dark they get. Now, this is with all the blinds closed in the back. encourage you guys to go watch my first part where I really get into all the components, I list them all, I give you the ideas, everything I wish I would have known before I made this home theater. There's definitely a lot to learn, but I wish you good luck with your theater. Oh, and if you're ever in LA, hit me up, come watch a movie in my theater. Fly.